In the 1980s, the German army embarked on a unique and interesting research initiative aimed at understanding how much explosive was needed on various soil types to render an area impassable for tanks. This investigation sought to assess the effectiveness of explosives across different terrains, including sandy soil, concrete, and asphalt pavement. The process began with the detonation of an explosive charge designed to create a crater in the target area. Following this initial phase, the Leopard 2 tank was called in to traverse the modified terrain. In most cases, the tank found it challenging, if not impossible, to navigate the affected area, notably to improve mobility during these tests. Extra weight was deliberately removed from the tank. This adjustment highlighted the importance of weight distribution and balance when it comes to maneuvering heavy armored vehicles in difficult conditions. The insights gained from these experiments were invaluable. They not only demonstrated the effectiveness of explosives in creating impassable obstacles, but also provided crucial data for developing anti-tank strategies. The findings contributed to the design of effective anti-tank obstacles tailored for various soil types, ensuring that military planners could better prepare for potential battlefield scenarios.